what is going on everybody and welcome back to the channel today you already know what time it is we are going to go ahead and talk about some call of duty specifically the foolery surrounding the weapon balance in the war zone and the current state of the game now that said war zone has been integrated with call of duty cold war in the background i have some call of duty black ops cold war gameplay so do enjoy that as we get through it today that being said let's go ahead and just jump into the discussion of the day first of foremost though thank you guys so much for supporting the channel thus far we are here and made it into 2021 despite all of the craziness associated with the pandemic and the other lackluster events that took place in 2020 just in case anyone out there was wondering i did take a nice break from all this to enjoy the holiday and i had to work a little bit more man i'm gonna tell you the truth i had to get them ducats i need that money i had to get that money but nevertheless i am starting it up again for 2021 so definitely look out for the videos and the occasional streams on the channel now that you guys all caught up what the hell is going on with call of duty specifically the war zone i jumped in several times and got insta melted with the new meta the mac 10 dmr 14 combo that apparently everyone is running when i say everyone i mean literally everyone every time that i died i got killed by a dmr or a mac 10 it's kind of wild like damn the weapons are good but that good are they actually that good the answer to that is yes they are that good like game breaking good so good in fact that it makes it even hard to land on the map once you get out of the gulag the weapon is so accurate and so powerful that it can kill you before the player actually reaches the ground so what happens is while you're going downward you try to hit that parachute before you can parachute away because of the limitations on the controls yeah you'll be insta melted by the dmr 14 if anyone who's using that weapon is at all any good with it yeah you're pretty much a dead duck just go ahead and kiss that game goodbye and hit the play again button at this time warzone is virtually unplayable and damn near impossible to win in this current state nowadays when i jump into warzone i usually get around six to seven kills prior to being yeeted by one of these definite super weapons so it is doable and you can play the mode but the point is that something needs to be done about it because it's definitely unbalanced and it has had an impact on the way the game is played overall that being said fear not because the boys and girls at raven software are on the case they are back from their vacation due to the holiday and have already sent word down that they are in the process of super nerfing they are going to address these two weapons when it comes to the war zone specifically they have heard our cries concerning the weapon balance and are in the process of making it happen so the next couple of days definitely look out for the new pad that will be released specifically for war zone that will address the dmr14 and the mag 10 as well raven software did mention additional weapons as well the dual pistols i believe they will be looking out for those i believe they're going to catch a nerf as well so if you're out there and you're dominating so yes i'm talking to my dmr sweats out there you better get all the kills you can because the day of reckoning is coming when the gun will return to the depth from which it came furthermore raven software did clarify stating that the weapon balancing itself would only be limited to the war zone so the guns will remain the same in cold war this isn't an issue because they aren't op in the main game like i play cold war all the time and the dmr is good but it ain't that good again the mac 10 is good but it's not that good it's not to the point where it's actually breaking the game like it is in war zone hence why those nerfs only need to be required when it comes to the war zone overall the dmr 14 and mac 10 cheese needs to be addressed and i'm happy that raven software is on the ball and that they will be taking care of this but you know since we out there patching and nerfing can we do something about the ffar that gun sucks right now it used to be good but they nerfed the hell out of the thing to the point where it isn't even feasible anymore you can't really use it the only purpose it serves at this point is holding you back from completing the assault rifles when it comes to going for those dark matter challenges it is a hit marker machine in both core and in hardcore if a gun sucks in hardcore it's bad no way around it it it's bad how am i getting hit markers in hardcore they have decreased health and increased bullet damage what is going on here i'm simply calling for a buff to the ffar you know hopefully they can help brother out and make it happen i'm not gonna hold my breath but hopefully they do if you guys didn't really notice i am trying to get these dark matter challenges done but these ars are getting on my nerves so i'll get there when i get there ain't no big deal i'll get there when i get there anyways that's about it for me thank you guys so much for taking time to watch my video please do me that favor and like the video 
video, subscribe if you haven't already, and definitely leave me a comment down below. I appreciate it, and I'll see you guys on the next one.